In this video, we're going to make a basic bread dough into something pretty fancy. You will need, and make them better quality ingredients if you really want the best flavored bread. Over medium heat, you're going to scald the milk while you're melting the butter. Pour that hot goodness into a bowl to cool down, probably for about 20 minutes. After it's cool, you want to add a quarter cup of your sugar, pure cane sugar, and two teaspoons of active dry yeast. If you're going to add those eggs, you want to whip them in right now. It gives the bread a wonderful texture and color. I'm going to add the two teaspoons of salt to two of the cups of flour. Mix that in, that way you're getting those both in at the same time. I like, look at the bowl, you can see the froth. That means your yeast is active and alive. It works out to be a little over four cups of flour in total. You will always have a little on reserved on the side to add. There's just a certain texture that you want to get. I wish you could come over and feel what it feels like, but I'm going to do my best to show you what it looks like. It's time to flour that board and turn out the dough. This is the fun part. It's all nice and squishy. You keep folding in flour and folding it in. This gives you also a texture that you'll see when you cut into the bread. Make sure you get all that flour all around the board. Use it all. Don't waste any. Fold it in. This recipe will also make two loaves of bread that you can seed or just use as sandwich bread. We're making it fancy again for my friend's party. Time to set that beautiful dough up for its first rest. Use the same bowl. Don't dirty anything else. You're gonna coat it with butter and then cover it up with plastic, the whole bowl, or you can tuck it in and let it set for an hour. It will, not quite double, but it will feel really soft now. Partially the butter, partially the gluten raisin, that soft flour. Now you're gonna pat it out and just coat it thinly and fold it. Coat, pat, and fold. You want to knead a lot of that air out, but it's more of a gentle knead. You want to have a nice soft dough. You can see how I can press in, but it doesn't stick to me. It's pillowy. Divide it into three parts as equal as possible. Parents, you know, when you braid your child's hair, it's so much easier if you have equal amounts. We're going to braid this beautiful bread. So try to do your best. Fold it in underneath roll them out you're going to be getting more air pockets out of that dough all about the same length and make sure you don't over flour keep them soft but not sticking to you however you need to start the braid 
so it doesn't come undone as you're doing the other end. Tuck it in. Now we're going to butter a clay baking sheet. You can get this clay cookware at a lot of different places today. We're gonna let this rest. When we come back after a half hour, look how much bigger that is. You can bring this if you're invited to someone's house for dinner to either be enjoyed with dinner or really as a hostess gift. Everybody loves this bread. It has just a little bit of sweetness, but remember you can make two sandwich loaves. I'm going to coat that whole braid with one egg. Try not to let it pool in the crevices. Spread those out. You don't want to have egg in pockets. This is everything but the bagel seasoning. It's all kinds of seeds and it has little chunks of garlic and dried onion. The guests in the house love when they get to eat homemade bread. Look how pretty. Time for magic and that aroma to fill the whole space. You're gonna bake it 350 for about 35 minutes. It has this look when you know it's done and those crevices are not gooey or doughy. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have a basic bread dough that you like, let me know in the comments below. Once you see how easy this recipe is, you probably won't buy bread in the store again. Check out some of these other great videos for some yummy recipes. And they typically are pretty easy.